So did you watch the video about Nephi and how he wanted to help the people and bringing him a famine was his idea to help the people to remember Heavenly Father? You know, we really need to remember Heavenly Father. Do you know when we take the sacrament, we say we will always remember him. But my brain does not remember things very good. I don't know about you, but I forget stuff all the time. Hey, I have some stuff I want to show you that some of it um, I can kind of think about and remember. Let us let me show you. So I have two plates of things here. There's this plate, and none of them are super special at all, but there's that plate. And then there's this plate. So, um, well, some of these things are about me. So there's jello here because we all know that grandpa loves to eat jello and grandma loves to eat jello pudding. And so she loves jello. And this says, families are forever and be like Bernice because that's about my mom. So that's cool. And this is my favorite favorite color of nail polish. Don't you love the red sparkles? I love red sparkles. And this I just bought at the 99 cent store and I'm so happy with it because I can clean my fingernails really good with it. And it's pink and I like pink. Um, I'll tell you about a few more of them a little later. Let's get on with our lesson. So trying to remember Jesus in lots of different situations is hard because there's a lot of stuff going on in our lives and we're doing different things all the time. So I thought I would ask some professionals what they do or what they thought might be good ideas to do in some situations. So each family had some situations and let's take a listen to what some of our professionals had to say about this. So remembering Jesus helps us choose the right. So we had some professionals. Let's see. We'll pick this one first. This says, how do you remember Jesus when you're with your family? Well, Ethan was our professional on that one. And he said, when you try to be nice like Jesus and when you go to church with your family. Boy, those are some really great ideas. Thanks, Ethan. Okay, let's see. Here's one for school. Let's see. Who were our professionals with school? Oh, we have um, Aunt Katrina. Aunt Katrina said, A way that I remember my Savior during school is having a blessing before each semester for strength to make it through and for guidance to help me. Did you guys all get a blessing this year? I hope so. If you didn't, ask Daddy right now. Knowing I can rely on him through my studies and exams and he will help me remember after all I have tried. That is so good. We can pray to him to help us with our, with our schoolwork and with our tests. And we have some more experts chiming in on that. And they said, Layla said, we can remember Jesus by his teachings and how my teacher teaches me, Jesus taught people. So when you see your teacher, you can think about Jesus because he was a teacher. I love that. And Zoe said, I can remember him by his love and how I love my teachers. Oh, those are excellent ideas. Alrighty, let's go with this one, work. What could you do at work? Oops, I'm not messing this up a little bit. Well, um, we lumped work in with chores on that one, it looks like. And we have a professional of Tanner. And Tanner says, you can, with work, you can act like him. And you can say, okay, and do it by being obedient, like he was obedient. Excellent idea, Tanner. And Uncle Jeremy said he keeps a picture of Jesus in his workplace. That's a great idea. Okay, let's see. What about this one? When we take the sacrament, what could you do to remember Jesus when you take the sacrament? Um, oh, we have a professional here, Lucy. She said you could say prayers during the sacrament. Now, wasn't that a good idea? And she said that you could um, 
Hazel said you could think about him and about stories you know about Jesus. And you know what? Even Dorothy chimed in a little bit on this one. And she said that he helps people's sicknesses go away. So she could think about uh, the ways that he helped people during the sacrament. I love that. <clears throat> the other thing I thought of was reading the sacrament songs. The songs in there really talk about him so good during sacrament. So that's a good thing to read those you can think about him too. Okay, let's see what here we have. Um, how about had a bad day? Had a bad day. Dude, that's a song, huh? <clears throat> So having a bad day, our professional was Carly. And Carly said, you could pray to feel better. Exactly right. That is a perfect answer. And you know, I was thinking Jesus had a really bad day too. When he had to take on all of our sins and all of our problems, that was a really bad day. And we can remember when we have a bad day that he had a worse day and that he knows how to help us because he's had our kind of bad day. So praying to him so you can feel better is just perfect. Okay, next we have, um, how about playing sports? No, we'll try it reading scriptures. How about reading scriptures? Who is our professional with reading scriptures? Oh, we have Layla here. Layla said, learning from the lessons in the scripture, you can feel his love for you and think of him. And Zoe said, I can feel his love and that he remembers me when I read the scriptures. Isn't that a cool idea? That he think that he's so happy that she's reading the scriptures that he can be thinking about her too. I love it. Okay, next we have... Um, <clears throat> We'll go with, with your friends. What can you do with your friends to remember Jesus? Our professional here is Tanner. And he said, you could treat them like Jesus would. Well, there you go. That's going to help you a lot, isn't it? And remembering how to treat them. And Aunt Sarah Lynn said, you could talk about Jesus with your friends. Well, that's a great idea, isn't it? Okay, let's see. What about uh, making a mistake? After you make a mistake, how do you remember Jesus? Well, Lucy said that you could be helpful and try to make people feel better. And Melissa said you could say your prayers and ask Heavenly Father for forgiveness and think about how he can help you repent. And you can tell people you're sorry. That is perfect. Of course, these are professionals. Um, let's see. We have another one here. Online. How about online? Who's our professional for that? Well, that was Brooke. And Brooke said, when you look up kind things and when you play church games online, those can help you think about Jesus. And I was also thinking about online that... Um, that you can think about how he doesn't want us to waste time and maybe we could put a picture of him on one of our home screens or one of our screens or or tape a picture up to our computer or <clears throat> put one on our phone and um I thought about if we saw something bad online that we could quick and say a prayer and ask him to help us because he could help us make good choices so those are some things I was thinking of too Okay, here we have saying prayers. Let's see, our professional for that is Tanner. And Tanner said, um, say thank you for Jesus when in your prayer. Boy, that's a great idea. And Sarah Lynn suggested that you look at a picture of Jesus before you say your prayers. I had never thought of that. I love that idea. Okay, and we have a professional about playing sports. Um, this was from Layla. My coach teaches me how I can do hard things just like how Jesus told Nephi to build a boat. And that was hard. Jesus showed him how to do it just like how my coaches show me how to play softball and be better at it. So she can think about um, 
about how he was a teacher and a leader like the teachers and leaders she has that are helping her play sports. She could also pray to do her very best and to stay healthy and think about Heavenly Father when she's doing it and that she won't get hurt too. I always am praying for that, thinking about Heavenly Father helping me out. Okay, the last one up here, attending church. Attending church, the professionals on that one were... um, Lucy, she said you could listen to your teachers to help you learn, remember Jesus and be reverent. And Uncle John said that you could be kind and show love to those who are around you and that you could um, come to church prepared already so that you can listen, care, prepared to listen to the things that they're teaching and and listen hard and pay attention during church. Um, I also thought about all the pictures of Jesus that are around the building in the church. It'd be nice to, as you walk in or walk around the building, to look at all those pictures and see them, and they can remind us of Heavenly Father. Well, those are definitely professionals who know some answers like that and that can help us know ways we can remember Jesus in all different situations. And sure enough, there he is. What a great way to remember him. Thank you to all my professional helpers on this. Okay, we're back to looking at my fun little plate here. Do you know what this is? You think it's just a little Mario guy, but this is really special. Ethan gave this to me. He brought it to me so that I would have a present that he brought, just like when I go to his house and bring him a present. Isn't he so cool? I love my little Mario guy. And I have some scissors here because you never can find scissors. And I found some, so I thought I'd better put them on this plate so I could remember where they were. And this is some chapstick because that's another thing you can never find when you need it. It's some chapstick to keep your lips nice. Oh, did you notice my sock that I have here? It's pink striped sock because I like to wear bright pink like that sometimes. And if my clothes aren't bright pink, at least I know my socks are. And here's a cup. It's a little cup. We used to use these for the sacrament, but now we use uh, a little smaller cup. So this cup kind of reminds me of the sacrament. And this is a fan. That's really cool. Let me open it for you. When I was a kid, a teenager, and even when my kids were little, we went to Chinatown in San Francisco all the time. And I love getting fans like this because then I would take these fans to church with me. When it got hot in there, I could use it to fan myself. So, plus it's really cool looking. So I like this fan, it's a very cool thing. So, as you can see, I have some things here that I like to think about and remember. Oh, there's something there too, a toothpick, but we don't need to remember that, okay? All right, so those are some things that I like. Okay, talk to you later. So since we're talking about remembering, I thought it would be really good if we had an elephant involved because you know, an elephant never forgets. Hello, hello, I am Queen Elephantina and I never forget anything. Well, we're gonna put you to the test, okay? Queen Elephantina. Uh, we're going to play a game. Do you have anybody that you would like to play your game against? Well, my husband would be good. Okay, let's see your husband. Hello, I am king of the jungle. And my name is... Just call me king. Okay, well, I have a matching game for you two to play. Do you think you can do it? Can you... Uh, remember where the matches are? Of course I can! I remember everything! All right, well, are you ready, King? Yes, I am always ready. Let's play. All right, here we go. Take a look. I sent out a royal proclamation and I get to go first. So I choose number six and number 12. Six and 12. All right, let's try it. Number six and number 12. So we have Jesus praying in Gethsemane and when Jesus lived again. Are those a match? 
Oh, darn it. Those are not a match. Okay. Queenie, it's your turn. Oh, good. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, I choose number one, because I'm number one. Oh, and number three. All right. That's Jesus teaching in the temple when he was 12 and Jesus teaching about his heavenly father. Those are not a match. Oh, darn it. Hmm. Okay, my turn, my turn. And I choose number seven and number 14. Yes. All right, 14 is when Jesus died on the cross. Number seven is when Jesus heals a man. Again, not a match. Oh, that shouldn't be the case. I should always get a match. All right, Queenie, what do you pick? Well, I will pick number eight and number two, 13. Okay, we have number eight. Jesus praying in Gethsemane. And number 13. Jesus being a baby. Oh, I see a match. Well, it is my turn. That's right. What do you pick, King? Well, I pick number 10. And number uh, eight. Um, that's Jesus telling about his father and Jesus praying in Gethsemane. That is not a match. What? That must be a match. That has to be a match. What do you mean that's not a match? That is so not fair. That's a match. I declare it's a match. Well, they are both pictures of Jesus, but that is not a match. All right, let's turn him back over. Well, of course I know the right matches. What are they? Let me think about it. Um, I choose eight. And seven. Oops, I screwed up. That is not a match. Um, it's just a small glitch. I'll get it right on my next turn. Okay. Hey, do you guys know where the right match is? Hmm. Shout it out if you know what the right match is. Of course they don't know what the right match is. Only I do. I say it's number eight. Jesus praying in Gethsemane. That's one of the most important ones when he took on our sins. Okay, number eight and number, um, 13. Nope, that's when Jesus was born. Oh, that can't be. We need a royal proclamation. Okay, well, you guys are not very good at this game. Why don't you try some different ones? Gosh, I was just thinking about all these things that I like. Um, I'm so glad that I have them all in one spot right here today. Okay, I will try number four. Jesus in the temple and number three. Jesus in the temple, of course, I got it right. <laughs> okay. I got one. Let's see now. My brain has shifted into gear and my memory is going strong and I want to try eight again. Eight. All right. Eight. And what other number? Six. I want six. Okay. Eight and six. Oh, you got a match, Queenie. Of course I did. Okay. It's my turn again. And let's see. We've seen number 14. I want to try it. All right. 14 is when Jesus died on the cross. Okay, and number 
two, that one. All right, let's see if that, oh, you got it. You got another match, Queenie. Of course I did. All right, now which ones do you want to pick? Well, I will pick seven. Okay, seven. That's when Jesus healed somebody. Okay, and number one. Uh, nope, that's when he taught about his heavenly father. Oh, darn it. Okay, it's his turn, I guess. Yes, it is his turn. Well, I feel like you must have cheated. So, hmm, I'm going to try number 11. All right, that's when Jesus was born. Oh, Jesus was born. I love that part. Um, I'm going with number 13. Let's see. Oh, you were right. You got it, King. Why, of course I did. All right, you get to go again. Okay, let's see. I choose number seven. Number seven, when Jesus healed somebody. And number which one? Well, I want number 12. Okay. That's when Jesus came out of the tomb. That's not right. What? It's a mistake. Clearly a mistake. They both have Jesus. It's a match. No, when you remember Jesus, uh, that's good to remember him. But in this game, you need to remember the right ones. Okay, I guess it's her turn. All right, Queenie, your turn. Well, I've thought about it a lot. And my memory is helping me a lot. And I pick number nine. All right, number nine. Ha! Oh, there it is. I knew I would find it. And number seven. Okay, number seven. You got it. That's when Jesus healed somebody. That is a good match. Okay, now number 12. Number 12 is when Jesus came out of the tomb. Number five. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Number five. You were right. That's when Jesus came out of the tomb. It matches. Of course it does, because my memory is perfect. All right, there is only two left, and I can get them both. Number one, number ten. Okay, that's when Jesus was a teacher and told about his Father in Heaven and a match. You got it, Queen. Yes, I did, because my memory never fails me. That's right, I won. I got a lot, and you did not. Well, that doesn't matter, because you are my wife, so together we make one brain. Oh, that is so smart of you. Oh, thank you. See you later, guys. Goodbye. Okay, at the beginning of the video, I showed you two plates that had some stuff on them. I want to see how many of the things you can remember. So one of the plates I said had some special things on it, and we talked about them a little bit. Um, there are 10 things on that plate. I want you to stop for a minute and think of how many of them you can remember. Okay? So stop and do that. Okay. Did you stop it? Are you back? So how many did you remember? Let's take a look at them. Okay. So this was the plate. Did you guess a cup? Scissors, a chapstick, my fan, my thing for my fingernails, my favorite fingernail polish, thing to remind me of my mother, my jello, my sock, and my special Mario guy. How many of those did you get? Okay, now we're gonna do something else. You ready? Okay, I showed you a second plate at the beginning of the video, but we didn't really talk about it, and I didn't really show it to you again. There were also 10 things on that plate. How many of those things can you name? I'll stop. In fact, you guys can work together if you want, if any of you can think of some of those things. Can you think of them? I'll wait. Okay. Are you ready for the unveiling of the 10 things? Here we go. Okay, 
we had a remote control, some glue, a Q-tip, a pencil, some spices, a battery, an elephant, because the elephant never forgets, and deodorant, and makeup, and a comb. How'd you do? Did you remember him? Well, that was an experiment on our remembering. How well did you remember? Did you remember more from the plate where I talked about it and showed it to you a couple of times? Or did you remember more on the plate that I didn't talk about it at all and I didn't show it to you again? Well, guess what? Heavenly Father knows that our brains forget stuff and we get distracted and don't remember things. And we have to hear the same things and see them and talk about them to make them stick in our brains more. So how many times do we go to church? Right, we go to church once a week. We're supposed to go every Sunday, even though we mostly hear kind of the same stuff each time we go, huh? What about the sacrament prayer? Is it different every week or is it the same? You're right, it's the very same every week because Heavenly Father wants us to remember the things that we are committing to during the sacrament prayers. So we hear the same thing week after week to try to get it into our brain. What about um, reading our scriptures? How often did they tell us we should read our scriptures? Right, every day because he wants us to be remembering him so we can read the scriptures every day. What about praying? How often does he want us to pray? You know, he even talks about praying continually, but we for sure know about morning prayers, night prayers, meal prayers, prayers when you need them, lots and lots of prayers. Why do you think he wants us to do that? Because he wants to help us and he loves us and he wants us to know he's there and to remember him. Um, that's one of the reasons why I make all of these videos every week is because I want to help my family remember Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Because I know that when we remember him and we follow him, that we'll be happy and I want you to be happy. And I want you to learn how the things he wants us to do so we can live with him again and we can live together as a family. And it all has to do with remembering him. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen.